Welcome back to Aspire For Me. I'm Jesse, and today I have an idea I want to mull over with you. So join me as we think about this, and let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are and other ways that we could be thinking about this. So I was watching a video over on the Cash College YouTube channel the other day, and he brought up a concept called unfair advantage. Now, I hadn't really thought of this concept before, and when he started talking about it, I didn't really feel like I had an unfair advantage at anything, and I didn't think it was for me. But then as he got talking a little bit more, and I got thinking a little bit more, I came up with some ideas in which maybe I have had an unfair advantage in life, and they have helped me get to where I'm at. Which made me think that if I originally thought maybe this wasn't for me, maybe it could be for other people who might have thought this wasn't for them too. So don't click off this video yet, and let's go ahead and talk about it and see what maybe you think your unfair advantage might be and how you can use that to grow in any area of your life. For today's instance, I'm talking financially as this is a channel about becoming financially independent. So let me go ahead and tell you the story in which I feel like I had an unfair advantage. So to start off, I grew up in a family where my dad is, was a contractor and a builder. I spent a lot of my days and summers out with him on the job site learning how to build houses from framing all the way up to finish work. Now, I didn't realize this at the time and understand that this was going to give me an unfair advantage later in life, but let me help you understand why I think it has. You see, one of my current investments is a rental property that I have out on an island. It's a little vacation rental that we rent out all year round, but mainly in the summertime. Now, we bought this vacation home for just over $100,000, and right now, it's worth a little over $200,000, if you ask me. Now, a lot of that is due to what I've done to the house. I'll go ahead and throw up some before and after pictures here, but you'll be able to see that I took some of that unfair advantage that I had of building and creating and put it into this house that used to be a bit of an ugly duckling and now I think looks pretty good. By being able to buy an ugly duckling when we were looking for our vacation house, it gave us the opportunity to be able to buy something a little bit cheaper and put some sweat equity and some of my creativity into the house, thus creating some equity in the house. Now, you might not have a builder's background or know a whole lot about repairing stuff, so let's think about other ways that you might be able to introduce unfair advantage in your life. So let's think. What if you're a shopper? You enjoy shopping. You might think financially that's a bad thing. But how could we turn shopping into an unfair advantage? Well, let's just think. One of my passions and side hobbies and side hustles, whatever you want to call it, was to go out and buy things and resell them on Amazon. So I'd go to stores and I'd find their clearance section and I'd find items that still had value but for some reason weren't selling in that store. I'd go ahead and purchase them and resell them on Amazon at an increased profit. Now obviously I'd do my research, make sure I was buying things that had value and would resell but um, this would kind of fill my shopping bug and still be able to not necessarily spend money but yet make money. So maybe shopping is an unfair advantage for you. Maybe you know things about certain items that um, maybe hold bigger value and because you do a lot of shopping you know what value things have. You know, For instance, if you enjoy comic books, maybe you know which comic books have value to them and which comic books you could sell more and um, would bring more money. So you go out and you do garage sailing on the weekends and you find um, different people with comic book collections that maybe enjoyed the books but didn't really um, know their value as much. So you could buy them and resell them. And now you've now made your comic book unfair advantage a profitable thing to get you to financial independence quicker. Uh, how about a college athlete? One of the other YouTubers that I follow, uh, Anthony McLemore, he was a college athlete, and while he didn't start his YouTube channel talking about it, lately he's been talking about different stories that um, have come across as he was a college athlete. And I think these things have brought him a great ton of views and grown his channel immensely. And I don't think that it's a bad thing that he's used this unfair advantage of his to grow his channel, but it's definitely an unfair advantage. It's not something that I can really... Uh, pull from as I was never a college athlete and um, 
So for him, that's an unfair advantage that he's uh, capitalizing on. So um, I think that's a great one. How about if you enjoy spreadsheets? Let's say that you're really good at Excel and you want to be able to make spreadsheets and um, really understand how to turn those into some pivot tables and some, you know, not just your normal boxes, but you really know how to make a spreadsheet look pretty and presentable. And um, so you take your skills in spreadsheets and you um, maybe make some, you know, predetermined spreadsheets that you sell on an Etsy store or, um, you know, whatever that might be that um, maybe you just use that unfair advantage to help you understand which debt to pay off first because you're really good at making spreadsheets work for you to understand what might be the faster way to get out of debt or um, different ways to use spreadsheets. You know, there's lots of different ways that we can find that we have unfair advantages and I think these are just some of them. One more thing is that Kim has a real love for animals and maybe that love for animals can be turned into an unfair advantage. Maybe her knowledge of animals because she loves them so much, um, she can utilize in some way or um, maybe she becomes a dog walker and um, rather than, you know, she's making money doing something that she loves rather than doing something that um, maybe other people might not enjoy as much. So. You know, what are what do you think some unfair advantages you might have that you could utilize to get you to financial independence sooner? Or maybe utilize them in other ways in your life that might um, make you, you know, just level up your life one bit more. So, love to hear in the comments below any ideas you have on an unfair advantage that you feel like you may have and how you might utilize that to grow yourself. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your views that you've given us these days. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join our journey, and we'll see you in the next video.